To begin, I've already imported the car moving clip into my timeline. Now, locate the frame where you'd like to reveal your text. You can use the type tool or simply press the T key to add your text. Next head over to the effect controls panel, scroll down to adjust the font if needed. I want to increase the font size and add a text shadow. Let's also adjust the text position, then scroll up slightly and create a mask for your text. In this case, a polygon mask works fine, but I'll click on the pen icon to create a free bezier mask instead. Let's zoom in on the preview monitor for better clarity. Now click outside the text for your first point and for the second point, drag to create a curve. After that, zoom out of the preview monitor to finish masking around the text, ensuring it's fully covered. To reveal the text, first enable the inverted option to hide it. Next to track the movement of the car, click on the stopwatch icon next to the mask path. Move a few frames forward and click on mask 1 to highlight mask. Adjust the mask position. Each time there's a change in mask position, it will automatically add new keyframes. Continue this process until the text is fully revealed. It's looking quite cool. Similarly, as the second car approaches, I want to wipe away the text. Once again, when the car reaches the point where the text is located, I'll create another mask. This time, we'll apply the mask to the opacity. We'll repeat the same process as before. Now it looks even better. But I want to change the text blending mode to soft light, which will give it a texture similar to the road. And this is what you will end up with.